Alright, hey guys, I just wanted to show you this. I just found this weird Wii Lock glitch with my Wii Lock Exceeder. Um, so this is kind of a sneak peek for Wall Test 23, which is not going to be here until 2018 because I'm taking the week off. I will not be here, so there will be no test on Thursday. My apologies. But, so you are going to see a little sneak peek of that. Uh, the alarms I have up are my Wheelock Exceeder at 95 Candela on continuous low. That is what's set up. Remember that it's continuous, because that's where the glitch happens. And over here is my System Sensor Spectre Alert Classic at 95 Candela set at continuous low. And these are both two wire devices. Both two wire devices, and both running on the same NAC through my Silent Night 5208. So here's what happens. Right now, I'll show you. The NAC1 cadence is set to constant output, which means it's just flat out, just straight power, no coding, no anything. So now that the system is normal, I want to show you this. I'm going to open up a full station and send the system into alarm. So watch. So what happened there were both alarms sounded their continuous horn and the strobes were out of sync. So we're going to reset the panel. And then next I'm going to show you what happens when I put it in Wheelock Sync. So remember how this was in continuous? Well, I put it in Wheelock Sync and watch what's going to happen once the panel boots up. Okay, so there's no troubles, no nothing, system normal, we lock sync. Let's open up the full station. What? It's doing code 3? It's doing code 3. Why? So you're probably wondering, oh! It's because you have it. You're probably thinking, oh, it's because you have it in Wheelock Sync. So yeah, it senses that it's in Wheelock Sync, and it's going to do a code three. A, that's not what it's set on. And B, this alarm isn't doing code three, so it's not like the panel's coding out code three. It's for some reason thinking it should do code three. So now just to prove that it's not Wheelock. We're going to put it in system sensor sync. Oh, and by the way, the strobes were in sync. So now, we're going to put the panel in system sensor sync and watch what happens. There we go. It wasn't open long enough. Again? Now watch. So I'm resetting the panel. I took the uh, system sensor off the bracket. So now it's just going to be the Wii Lock. Sorry, I'm trying to fit a fire alarm in my pocket. Um, you're going to see that it, it starts off doing continuous and then switches over to code 3. Here we go. And then it's back to code 3. I have no clue why it is going into code 3 whenever you try to put it on a sink. So, uh, and why, why code 3? Why isn't it just like doing like a march time where it's just alternating? No, it does code 3. It's doing 
something is happening where it's putting it in a specific coating. Just for fun, we're going to try one more coating. We're going to try something that's not even on the board. Let's put it in... Come on, don't freeze up. Let's put it in Faraday sink. So we're going to put it in Faraday sink. Now, I haven't tried Faraday sink yet, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. But we're going to try it. And we're going to see if it does code 3 again. And the system sensor is going to be back up on the wall. There we go. Code 3 again. So yeah, that's the little Wii Lock glitch I found. Whenever uh, a Wii Lock exceeder set on continuous gets put through any sort of sink, it goes to code 3. I'm going to try one more thing. No, I'm not. Never mind. That was going to be stupid. Yeah, I'm not going to. That was going to be stupid. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's the video. Alright. Weird sink. <laughs> Thank you.